working towards becoming a singing school for quite some time in that it was an idea I had shortly after I was appointed as head but what I really needed was someone like Amanda who could come in and take those ideas and and make them real. We use a full range of songs, Um, so I use compositions that I've created for the school. Um, We use those for tidying up. We don't always use the same songs each day, but um, we'll use them for tidying up, for lining up the children, the transition between getting them from the classroom into the hall for assembly we'll sing for, Um, at the end of the day we'll sing, and I find some of the best ones are just ones you kind of make up at the end of a lesson, just engaging with the children, singing their names, getting them to answer you back, pretending you're on the telephone, things like that. Um, but also in weekly singing practices, um, in assemblies, we just kind of sing whenever we can, really. I think the children now see it as communicating through talking and singing are equal within the school. I Benefits of using routine songs, I think, are that the children um, have got a focus, and I think having singing appointed to those times really makes a difference. Generally, when I teach the songs to the children in the school, I'll always start off with sharing a funny little story about when I created the song and how I created it and my ideas behind it, and that straight away gets their interest going. And then we tend to listen to the whole song and get a feel for it and then we'll break it down line by line and learn it together um, pretty much with you know, like a call and response where I'll sing a line and model it and they'll echo it back to me and really quickly they'll pick it up. You generally find the strong singers will lead the way and then the others just jump on board. The first song that I made up was the lining up song and once I saw the effect that that had with the children all wanting to be involved and getting on board and joining in and the effect that it had on creating a settled atmosphere that inspired me to create some more. seen lots and lots of benefits from having these songs in the classroom. I think the biggest one for me is the fun and the confidence aspect. Um, I've seen children who are really quite timid and shy and who are not up there kind of leading the way, who now want to be stood there leading songs. Um, The smiles on their faces, their enjoyment, the fact that sometimes they just don't want to go home at the end of the day because they're too busy singing the song. It's just wonderful to see. So from a class teacher's point of view, it's the control, bringing them all together, but most importantly for me, it's the fun and the enjoyment and the I can do it attitude that we see. The most important condition in a school to make music flourish within it is the influence of the head teacher and that she has to fully support what you want to do within that school. There's no point um, with me just coming in with my own ideas and keeping that within my classroom, it's got to branch out across the school. So uh, the support that I had from Jill, really valuing music and seeing it as something that she wanted within her school to provide a holistic opportunity for all of the children in the school, um, allowed me to, to bring the energy and the spark that I brought to the school and for the music to just really take off. for a very, very happy school. And you know, if you teach children a song, they will sing it. And if you give children the opportunity to sing, they will sing. 
It doesn't need an expert singing voice to lead that. You can give that over to the children because you will always have somebody in your class or your school who is willing to take on that kind of role and responsibility and start things off for you and sort of taking the risk and letting the children have quite a lot of um, ownership of it. Just give it a go and not be afraid because um, the only barrier that you create is by yourself. Once the children see you standing up and being enthusiastic and having fun with them, they'll just get straight on board and let the children lead the way from there. So if they then go into the other classrooms, they can share that energy and that buzz and it'll just take off from there, really. Mm -hmm.